Hi, and welcome to the Hardcore Ultimate Iron Man progress video number 21. Now quickly before the progress starts, is that I want to mention my bigger goals on this account, as my progress videos might seem quite random at times. It's quite easy, there are simply two goals. The first one is to get level 82 construction, and this is the construction level from where I can boost to get most of the best upgrades. You can kind of compare it to increasing your bank size from 20 items to 200. But not only in your POH, but it also unlocks all the different kind of stashes. And I definitely want to unlock these before doing something else. The second goal on this account is to get, obviously, a quest cape. Some quests unexpectedly require you to have a lot of inventory space or you need to go to certain areas that have certain restrictions. And I don't want to get any surprises, but I am already pretty close to getting the quest cape. Only 14 to go. Ah, by the way, to get the best construction experience on a ultimate account, I need to get the Mauritania Lex number 3, and that requires me to get these stats. That was my intro, let's start the progress. Oh my days, this quest, oh my god, this quest. I should get 4 times 7,500 XP in something. Sadly, it will not get me to level 69, but this time, this experience is 30,000 experience, I'd like. That's a lot. That's really a lot. Quest completed. Oh my god. Finally. I think this quest took me three hours. Well, shit. Apparently, this quest, Ceramic Vars Rescuing, is a Entrana quest, so you know what that means. It's time to put shit on a table. <laughs> Sir Amic Vars completed 237 quest points. Now there's only one thing remaining. There's a treasure and the final fight for Barrow's Gloves. So, we just need to use a fairy once again. Quest completion number three of this video for some more Herblore XP. Three and a half thousand Herblore XP plus an additional two and a half, that's six. And this is also 239 quest points. I want to complete one more quest which is Grip Tales. Since I've done a lot of construction with cutting oaks, I've gotten 71 woodcutting, which was the final requirement for the Grim Tales quest. Um, is this how it's supposed to be? Because this is not a boss fight. Oh. Oh, there we go, there goes my prayer. Well, uh, that was something. Okay, that was a quite fun quest. And a lot of experience. Do I get any levels? So much experience. Probably not, yeah. This was a great quest. And this was also the final quest that I will be doing. Because next quest that I want to do is Devious Minds and therefore I will need 65 smithing. And since I have a clear inventory, well not right now, but don't bury here. Rune light. Since I can easily get rid of everything that I have in my inventory, I'm gonna do some smithing next. Alright, this is the final inventory before my final level that I will be getting here. This wasn't really that fun, but it was okay. It was pretty fast, and there we go, 70 smithing. I can now, well, smelt admin bars, but that isn't what I did it for. With 70 smithing, I have now unlocked three things. The first one being is I have unlocked two new quests, which are Devious Mines as well as Dragon Slayer 2. And then I also need... What did I need it for? Ah, yes, of course, also for a couple of diaries. All right. This is the end of smithing after these 22 law runes. 
Oh, and by the main reason why I dislike this method is because you just don't know how many people are buying coal from this store. Like, the coal is more likely to be run out than there are 100 in stock. So that is quite annoying in my opinion. But besides from that, this method is pretty good, definitely XP wise and as well as money wise. I currently break even or make a slight profit, but uh, this kind of gets negated when I need to buy coal when they are like, yeah, this is already 100 each when it could be like 80 each. And that just adds up a bit over time. Oh my God. Yes, finally. Oh. Oh, just in time, this was the end of my third inventory of food. This took way too long. Are you fucking serious? Did it start recording? Okay, uh, I've used my regular table upstairs, the Battle Axe shop. There I've put my three items. My book, the Tongue of Fire, the Pages and the Dragon Scimitar. So now I need to go through the Abyss. Any white dots would be a not good. No, that's a room crafter, definitely. Yeah, okay, go. Shouldn't really do this, to be honest. I need to be on Antwana for less than a minute. Cool, has completed his quest. Alright, certification, Devious Minds quest is completed. This quest literally takes 5 minutes. Just uh, getting the large pouch is just... Yeah, that took me an hour. A lot of experience, do we get any levels? Oh, room crafting, that's cool. Getting close to my Slayer and Defense though, but I should get about 8,500 XP from Tears of Gothics approximately. So that should be about 4 weeks before it has gained Defense and Slayer. Right, next up. Oh, there we go. Level 75 woodcutting. I can now cut magic trees. And magic locks is the requirement for two more quests. Uh, Desert Treasure and Mori's End Part 1. My original plan was to get like 83 hunter, then start hunting rare implings in Puro Puro, under which are nature implings, so I can get magic locks by capturing those. But yeah, since I already got 73 and a half woodcutting from getting 70 construction, I don't need to train any more hunter. I also just wanted to do some AFK stuff, so just chopping down some use here in the woodcutting guild. Also got 70 fletching, not really anything special. Alright, it's time for the first quest that requires magic locks, desert treasure. I need to be on Antwana for less than a minute, so let's do something dangerous and do not use a table and just simply drop it. Alright, let's go. I have a timer, so all of these items will be visible in 50 seconds. Let's go, let's go, let's go. <laughs> There they are. Alright, that was the most difficult part of Desert Treasure. Let's showcase the boss fights, I guess. Yeah, no need for a restore potion. Yeah, I completely forgot about those potions and about the ice cold here. I definitely need some, so I'm going to... Yeah, just south, I guess, and I'm gonna quickly plant a Herald Lander here. I have plenty of seeds. Would you mind... This is like... Wow, is this Pokemon red and blue bind attack? I can't do shit. Alright, finally. Well, no need for, hmm, 12 prayer potions. Um, 
Okay, this is awesome. No scarabites, no poison, nothing. Easy. I've just triggered one trap on floor number one, which doesn't really sound too good right at the start, but yeah. Didn't trigger a trap on my second run, and this is Desert Treasure completed at 244 quest points. Second quest completed that needed magic locks. Nothing much to say about this one, really. Just a lot of walking around. Why did you search the desk? Come on, move. Give me my hit points XP. No level though. Thieving, I guess. Yes, two quest points and pretty close to 66 hit points and 246 quest points. Now it is time for the final thing, which is also the main reason why I wanted Desert Treasure completed. Which is, where is it? I can finally make this ugly yellow thing green. Let's start fighting. Yes, yes, we're done. First one. Oh my god, let's go. Right, round two. I need ice gloves and basically the same setup. Boss fight number two. Let's try this the melee way. Yes! Let's go! Alright, cool. Next, Dagonath? Yeah. Alright, let's do this! Attempt number three. Upgrade. I got a ring of recoil and I will now be using three wave spells. Let's go! This will work. Dude, click correctly. What the fuck is wrong with me? Motherfucking bliss! Bliss! Yes! Yes, 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 yes! Now he's coming myself! Yes! I'm done! <sighs> yes! Oh my god! There we go! Quest completed, recipe for disaster, 20,000 experience in, obviously, Herblore. Not a level, but this is a huge dent. Definitely, huge dent into level 70. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 8 quests to go until Questcape. Yeah, but that is a lot of scaling, so Questcape will not be anytime soon, so my goal is pretty much completed complete as many quests as possible. Let's go back to the Herblore grind. And I've just calculated I need to pickpocket 271 guams and herndil seeds. Okay, some of you guys might not know, but I'm going to Japan in 10 days, literally. And I'm not really planning on making videos on this account anymore, maybe. I'm definitely still gonna be playing on this account, but I'm not really sure if I will be recording something. Okay, where is Kirill? There we go. Yes, finally, an easy and great method to get to Cannabis or to the Mortmire Fungi, if I don't want to get a Lunar Staff from Lunar Island. So this is what I quickly wanted to say, and this is also probably where I will be ending the video. I'm gonna start doing some thieving training. So I'm gonna continue training some Herblore, so first I need to have some seeds. Maybe I will see you guys in another progress video, who knows, and maybe I will also see you guys in the quick guides that I will be making once I am in Japan. I thank you all once again for watching. Okay, thanks, bye.